Virtual learning, it's a pretty hot topic while students are being kept home from school. News for Jack's reporter Corley Beal, she's showing us how Duval County Public Schools plans to handle that if needed. Phyllis Edwards and her six grandkids stopped by Carver Elementary Tuesday to pick up their free lunches while school is closed this week because of the coronavirus threat. Bye -bye, guys. Despite school being closed, she says her grandkids are still learning online. My grandkids have been doing that uh, already. The district says it's looking into online class options if it has to close school even longer. If that happens, Edwards says it could be a challenge for her family. They would have to take turns, I say, because I have five boys in one family mm -hmm. and three of them are in school. So for each one of them to do, to have a computer alone to sit there and do all, they have to really take turns. We're over communicating, so please still listen to the connect ed messages. Superintendent Dr. Diana Green says if a district has to switch to online classes, they will make sure students have the resources they need. Our chief issue or challenge will be can we if we have to go in this direction reaching out to those families that may not have connectivity or the hardware and how we can get that um, those resources to them for those who don't have internet access dr green says the district is considering issuing work packets internet hotspots and laptops edward says she worries about her grandkids staying focused if their school is moved online a lot of families work a lot of parents work they're not there, they don't have but a single parent um, home with them, so it's a challenge. Yeah. We're just, we're waiting to see. That was Corley Peel reporting. Dr. Diana Green says a lot of the online software the district uses for online classes can be used on a smartphone. Unfortunately, a lot of students have smartphones, so if they don't have computers, they can hopefully use their phone as another option.